when it first started, it was one and then it was two and then we were like, there was attempted suicides and we were just, I was shaking my head, I couldn't believe it and I didn't know, I don't think we really had anything in place or any plans in the community because this was something that just hit us from sort of blindsided us. So when they came up and there was a two by four on the side of the head, I just went, wow, what's going on here? Residents of Laloche have told me that everyone in the community knows someone who's died of suicide. This year, three people in the small northern town of about 2,600 residents have taken their own lives. Many more of them have attempted to. Community members say the problem stems from residential schools and a loss of cultural identity in an area that's predominantly Diné. Laloche is also isolated with a lack of amenities. There's no banks, no recreation centers. People I spoke with said they wanted to see more investment in infrastructure and also more empowered community members who can provide services, including health care and support for mental health. It, it stems back from, from many things. I think a lot of it maybe stem back from the residential school era. I have a belief in that. I'm also a residential school survivor myself. Um, some of it, it caused families for, to, to be torn apart, to create dysfunctionalism within the family dynamics. And this caused a lot of uh, parenting problems and a lot of addiction problems amongst, um, amongst a lot of our elders and our ancestors before that. As a community as a whole, I don't think we really tackle the issue of suicide because it's, it's so hard to diagnose amongst people, especially our young people in our community. And, and it's a scary thought. I'm a, I, I, have a, I have two children and I'm... I'm scared for them also. I would say a lot of people have lost a, uh, a family member to suicide in this community. I got a call from one of my cousins and she sounded so upset and she was crying and I couldn't understand her and then I said what's wrong what's what's why, why are you crying and then she said uh, your mom is dead I ran to my mom's house as fast as I could I saw my brother Jesse standing there and he was crying and he kept saying she's not dead she's not dead she's just sleeping I know she's sleeping can you tell her to wake up they brought her out in the gurney and they had the um, sheet over her head and that's when I knew that she was really gone. For the full story, please visit the Star Phoenix website.